in their mind that there could be a situation. I call it the Jezebel or Rosemary's baby. That some of our children nowadays, whatever they've went through, whatever trauma they have, that by the time these girls are teenagers, that they have a predatory Jezebel mentality. Now, we've been having these so-called reports. Of course, we're going on the devil's platform to get these reports. That, yes, there were things that were found on this woman's clothing or this young girl's clothing. But let's just, well, let me paint a picture. What if this young girl was the predator? That anytime anyone is raped, doesn't mean that the bodily functions don't adhere to nature's response. Meaning that if she was the predator in a given situation, that Polite may have been in a situation where he was vulnerable, that there was a, a female young predator that he may have given a rise to a situation involuntarily pushing her off in an aggressive manner to get away from the situation. Because you can't tell me as a man that if you're put in a situation, doesn't matter your age, that your bodily function is going to respond. That's a natural response. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. You know, I listened to this clip several times. Because I was really trying to get the feel of what this young lady was trying to say. Now, her comments was approximately four minutes long, I believe, with the interaction between her and Sanada. Now, this is only like a minute and something of that of her comments. But I thought this right here was a very important part of what she was saying. Because when she used the word predator, and she was using that term towards the young lady she wasn't calling polite a predator she was calling the young lady a possible predator and that set me back it really did and the reason why it set me back because it seemed like she was trying to give polite a pass because she even said that he was in a, he could have been in a vulnerable position so that's giving him a pass and she's pretty much putting the blame on the child which is nonsense now, when I sit here and I think about it, she failed to mention a few things. She failed to mention that in, a, in almost every state in America, they have statutory rape laws, which means if you're a minor, you can't consent to sex. In some states it's 16, some states it's 17, some states it's 18. So, by that being, no matter what the young lady did or didn't do, Polite should acknowledge the fact that that was a child and that child do not have the right to consent to sex, period. And that's when the grown-up and Polite should have went into effect. Now, like I said, this right here is countering the argument of this young lady in this clip. I'm not talking about polite case. I don't know what happened. I don't know the situation. So I'm not talking about that. I'm countering the viewpoint of this young lady. Because this young lady is basically trying to say that the child was the predator, was the aggressor. And no matter what you think about her being the aggressor, she still do not have the right to consent to sex because she's a minor. She's a child. Bottom line. And for a woman to sit up here and call a child a predator against a grown man who I think is 40 plus years old, that's crazy. That is sickening for someone to even think like that. When she said that Polite could have been in a vulnerable position. That's an adult. 
An adult do not let themselves get in a vulnerable position when it comes to a child. I don't care what you're saying about nature. You should be able to control nature when it comes to a child. And for her to sit there and make excuses, that's what's ridiculous. But what I ask you to do, if you watch this video, tell me how you feel about what was said in that clip. Give me your honest opinion. Do you think she got a valid viewpoint? Or do you think that she's crazy for having that viewpoint? Let me know.